in the packaging. <laughs> and we're taking another look at that AMD bracket. What we're gonna do now is now connect those hooks and thumb nuts to the bracket. Now just Oh yeah, my thermal paste is hot because I just played. <laughs> out that we need these mounting brackets back on. I had to take them off uh, when I installed my cooler, but this uh, AIO needs these for AM4. And so we didn't know what these screwed into, but the back plate must have fallen off. So here it is. And uh, yeah, that, that just goes in there. I don't know how people clean these components. I guess if you took the PC all apart, then you could really. Oh, <laughs> so dusty. I'm trying to decide if I should mount it first or put the radio radiator on first. <laughs> and also what side I want it on. All right, back on the big camera, finally. I'm sorry about that quality of the GoPro. It was probably really bad. Let's do the peel. Wow. Not even lying, the build looks insane. And just wait until I get a graphics card. Guys, I cleaned this front panel one week ago, seven days. It is disgusting. Let's go clean this out. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna give you a sick montage. I just realized at this point, uh, my whole PC is uh, Corsair themed. I got the Corsair case, liquid cooler, RAM, power supply, what else do I need? What else does Corsair make that I can buy? More RAM? Let's check my temps right away. Let me get on my Streamlabs. Alright, so. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm overclocking too. Not in this video though. That's going to be in a... Uh, new video coming in a couple weeks, a week or two. Let's load up IQ to see if it recognized it. And there's air coming out of the top now. Oh, here it is. It popped up. H100 RGB Pro XT. Oh, yeah. They're only spinning at 600 RPMs. Ooh, and it tells you the pump, the temp. Let me load up core temp, which will tell me my CPU's temperature. 37. I know it's like normal idle, but for my CPU, it's actually nor it's like actually lower. Before I usually get like 40 Celsius idle. Let's go balanced. 
Actually, let's just go. Let's just go extreme. And our and uh, pump. I don't know what changes on the pump. I guess it pumps more air, or more water. The. Yeah, the pump went up more. My fans are up more. It's got really loud, and I'm scared. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can feel like air coming out of this fast. Extreme means extreme. <laughs> this is their max RPMs. I can't wait to see my gaming temps, because usually they go from 65, 70 if I'm overclocked. But look at this, I can set it to temperature, and I can set it to my, um, my temperature, so it will basically tell me if my CPU is getting hot. And that's pretty sick. Now, um, to test this out, I'm actually going to, um, what we can do is run a stress test. Okay, let's run this stress test. Stress CPU. Oh, wait, we can also bench it. We'll just stress it for now. Alright, starting timer now. Oh, that's funny. I'm used to my old fan. When, some, when something was task-consuming, it was like, but now it's gonna stay consistent so that's kind of nice at least whoa oh my gosh okay my speed look at my speed on task manager before when I was at 100% all cores I was running 3.66 now it's 3.76 let's go I mean this is with no overclock too I don't know why that is I guess just because the temps are low no way. With this stress test, I'm not even getting past 50 Celsius. Usually I would get like 70 to 80 on this thing. The next test will be I'll render a 4K video. And I remember just by memory, last time I rendered this same 4K video, my, my temperatures went up to 80. And so we're going to see the real difference. Let's render... Um, Let's render something. Colorado drone edit. Let's see, this should be more intensive than that CPU Z stress test. As you can see, we're at 100%. Yeah, we're not going past 51. Like, I can. O I have a lot of room to overclock right now. I'm probably going to start with 4 gigahertz and then move to 4.2 if I still have good temps. A lot of people um, with this cooler were worried if it was going to fit with the Vengeance RGB RAM, and it does, on my case at least. So I'm really proud, I'm really happy about that because I was actually really scared that it wasn't going to fit. And I was going to have to mount it on the front right here, which would have been okay, but it's like, eh. And I actually love how the fans are gray and not RGB. I mean, RGB would have been fine. But, like, the gray just looks so more, like, sleek. And it fits with my setup, because my setup is white, black, and gray. And, by the way, guys, these fans are, um, are exhaust, not intake. So, three fans right here are, um, intake, and then exhaust, and then my back fan's exhaust. So, like, shh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Please drop a like on this video, because it helps the video and the channel. This video was really hard to record and I really hope the footage was good for you guys because I really worry about that.